Hey guys, and welcome to Aliens Colonial Marines. This is I'm Brutal from Flamingo Gaming. Um, we're just going to have a look at the, the game, first impressions, first look, that kind of thing. And I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. And this is a game released by Sega. It came out today. And I've only just got a chance to record this. And I'm going to get it out as soon as possible. But I've been at work today, so I've not had a chance to play it. But um, I can't wait to keep playing this game. So basically what... What the clip is here is basically most of the first mission, and yeah, so minor spoiler alert, if you don't want to see the first campaign mission, then, you know, nothing major really happens, so don't panic, you know, it's just your basic slight tutorial at the beginning, and then it gets cracking with some alien killing. So, you start off with the pulse rifle, the classic rifle from the movies, and I'm a big fan of the movies, so I guess if you're watching this, you are as well, that's why you want the game. And I've been a bit worried that this game was going to end up being a bit shit. And I don't know why, just I had a feeling it might be kind of good because it's aliens and the sounds from the gameplay I've, se I've seen, the sound of the gun and the sound of the aliens and everything was amazing. And that's what I've been really looking forward to. I know it sounds lame, but that kind of thing, when you're trying to imitate an existing movie, you've really got to get these things right, otherwise you just lose the entire experience you just get you know lost from it so i found that the gun and the aliens are just perfect matches to the movies and this game is like a sequel to the aliens movies the second film and uh yeah i'm really enjoying playing it and as you can see in the video the the graphics are amazing it's like really nice that's one one of the things i was worried about that maybe they'd go all out for storyline and stuff like that and the multiplayer and the and the graphics and stuff like that and the and and just the mechanics of the game engine and everything like that would sort of fall behind but i've got to admit it's a, it's really really good like the graphics are amazing the the movement of your gun is really good you get that when you're aiming down the sights and you move slightly quickly it's not just full on exactly where you move is where you move you get that sort of sway on your sights from one end of the gun to the other and you know stuff like that makes the game way more interesting you get little hit markers when you when your bullets land and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, I'm just gonna stop talking for a little bit and crank the volume up on the gameplay and we'll just, uh, let you have a look at it for now and then I'll jump back in in a bit. Alright, see you later, guys. seeing this captain.
Come on. Come on. Sephora Axel, this is Winter. I've located keys from Rhino 23. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. There are one or two Marines missing from Rhino 23. They're all dead. He's gone. Sit tight. I got you. Hey guys, I'm back. And the footage scene now, we just skipped a little bit further down the line into the mission. And as you can see, you can pick up ammo, you can pick up little armor kits. And this bit of the gameplay is a little bit, little bit more action packed. So you'll, hopefully, you'll enjoy this bit a little bit more. There's some, there's quite a lot of alien killing going on. There's a lot of this press V to knock them back. So I'll run you through the basics of the gameplay. So. You've got your pulse rifle and your, your secondary weapon is a shotgun as you start the game and looking at the upgrade arsenal page on the start on the on like the pause menu of the game you can obviously you can get like different sights for your guns different like under attachments like the it, it starts with like a little grenade launcher on your pulse rifle but you can get it like you can change it to a little sort of key shotgun and things like that and uh, the shotgun is badass, so if you get into close contact with these aliens, just get the fucking shotgun out because it kicks some ass. And just now, you just see that little bit there, I, I press V and it's like the, the melee attack and you just sort of hit him with the butt of your gun. And I did like a little kill cam, sort of put the, my pistol I think it was, it looked like my pistol at the time, it was a bit quick. And under the sort of chin of the, the alien and uh, just blew his fucking brains out right there, so that was pretty cool. I'm always a fan of that kind of shit. It just makes it varies the gameplay a little bit, it makes things a little bit more interesting. So as you can see here, there's loads of them. They're climbing up the walls and the roof and stuff, and it's just like I wanted it to be. Because I used to play the Alien vs Predator games, like the original ones on the PC, uh, like way before the one they did a few years ago. And and back, obviously, if I played them now, the graphics would be awful. But back in the day, they were proper creepy. The 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 beeping of your little your 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 sensor and the lighting and everything like that was just, it, it would proper scare the shit out of you. So you'd just be strolling down a corridor and pipes would burst and shit like that. So anyway, I'm really hoping that ga this game, if I play it in the dark, actually fucking creeps me out because it's just really hard for things to scare you these days because obviously everything tries to be scary now and it's just been done and everyone's so desensitized to horror. It's just really difficult to make a good horror, especially a video game. So... I hope it does that. But anyway, so you see, I've got my grenade. So you just, your grenades just come into your hand and then you just click to throw them. It's not like a quick throw system, so you've got to actually throw it. So there's a few different weapons I pre ordered. So I get the the stick, which is like a harpoon weapon. I don't know if fighters like rods, but I don't, I, I think that's just in multiplayer from, from the looks of it. I can't seem to equip it in, in a. In single player mode so I don't know I'll let you know about that but like I say I'm gonna do some some multiplayer gameplay uh, probably tonight and I'll bring that out for you we'll let you know how the the gameplay is because you can play as the aliens in the multiplayer which is gonna be really awesome I should hope so yeah um, what was I saying the gameplay itself so you've got your little scanner you've got your weapon you can press V to melee attack which sort of knocks them back and gives you a chance to like switch to shotgun and pop a few rounds or just you know fire your pulse rifle like a bitch and then Q gets out your gets out your uh, sensor and you've got your flashlight as well that you can turn on and off so you know if you get if it's getting a little bit dark if you're getting a little bit scared you can get your flashlight out I tend to have it on all the time because it's just easier to see what's going on but I guess there's times where I don't know maybe that gives you a position away but uh yeah, anyway, we're coming to the end now, so there's a bit of, like, talking and conversation and stuff, so we're gonna, I'm gonna let you watch this bit. Okay, see you later, guys.
lost the flight wreck. Keys. Keys had the recorder on him. That was all for nothing. Well, we're not dead. So, you know, there's that. So there you go, that was the uh, gameplay footage, the first mission pretty much, and I hope you enjoyed it, I know I'm going to enjoy this game, I can tell already, and it's going to be amazing, so if anything really awesome happens later on in the game, I might bring it to you with, you know, and I'll put up a spoiler alert if, if it's further on in the campaign, and later on I'll bring you some multiplayer gameplay, I've done a, a part 3 to the uh, Elder Scrolls Online news sort of series I'm doing, so check that out, check out part 1 and 2 as well. Um, and we've got some exclusive scrolls gameplay for you, which part one is out, part two is coming shortly. So that's the new game from Mojang, you know, Minecraft. So it's a card based sort of battle game, me and Taylor against each other. So check that out. Anyway, have fun, guys, and I hope you enjoy this game. I'll see you later. Bye.